I wanted to play around with circuit conditions and not just using the wires to, for instance, disable a train stop, but manage train stops in a more dynamic way. I have two train stops that are stone mines. Each train stop has a limit of one train, which means that if the first stop is filled up with this train, then the second train will go to the other mine. But if the first train is currently depositing stone, then the second train will go to the first mine because that is closer. So this is simply clicking on the train stop and saying enable train limit one. You could also set it to two and I could have a rail signal here, which would make it so one train is being loaded, one is waiting to be loaded. And if I have two trains that are either loading or waiting to be loaded, then any extra train will go down to the second mine. So that would make sense if you have mines that are further away, so you always prioritize the train taking the closest mine. Again, these are just cheetah chests that have infinite stone and these purple loaders are very fast. And I've set a limit, actually I haven't yet, but I will now. I've set a limit so that the train wagons can only carry 4,000 stone because I'll be using that later. I also need to set up the conditions for stone mine too. I want my train to wait here until it's full, which means it will carry 4,000 stone exactly. And the same here, actually I should do it on one train and then copy it over. Then I want it to go to the drop off, which is stone drop two. I want to stay here until it's empty. And this could cause a problem where a train will simply sit there and very slowly emptying. This would be the case if I have 4,000 stone in my train and my chest could only carry maybe 2,000 stone. Then inactivity wouldn't work on the train because it would be unloading slowly it would unload stone as fast as the stone is used later on. So if I'm only using three stone per second in a crusher, then it would take a while to empty it. And I don't want that. I want to unload quickly so that the train can move on and get loaded and go somewhere else. But that's all I had to do with the train mines. I haven't turned the train on yet. Also need to remember to shift right click and shift left click to copy. And you could definitely do something more complicated with the conditions, but I'm not doing that right now. My train will then go up here where I've set up a signal and another signal and another signal. I only ever want to have a maximum of two trains, one currently being unloaded and one waiting. I want to set up how many trains can go to this stop. Right now it's set to zero, but it shouldn't. So that's because it hasn't been connected to a circuit network yet. I have all of my chests and conveniently the wagon will move items into each chest so that they're perfectly balanced, which means that I can hook up wires and then this gives me the total amount. So if I just set a pole here, I can put a red wire to the pole and this will then give me how much stone is in my chest. So if I just put in 400, actually that's 360, then I have 360 in my network. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to do math. I want to have 10,000 stone in my chest. And if there's less than 10,000 stone, then I want my train stop to be active and ask for one train. Because I know a train carries exactly 4,000 stone because the train is only allowed to leave the mine when it's completely full. Likewise, if I have less than 2,000 stone, then I know I can add 8,000 stone, meaning two trains worth stone. So I want to have a limit of two, which means I want to use this constant combinator, which outputs a signal. And I'm going to say 10,000 stone. So it's saying I want to have 10,000 stone in my network. And this is the number I'm going to end up with, but it will show the logic I'm working through. These chests give a positive count of all the stone inside them, and this gives a constant amount of 10,000. I want to have 10,000 in my chests, which means I can say, I want to take a constant signal of 10,000 and minus it with whatever I have in my chests. That will give me how much stone I need to add in order to get to my limit of 10,000. I want to add an arithmetic combinator, which will take a signal which is how much stone do I have in my chest. It's saying it has an input signal of 390. Then what do I want to do with it? Well, I want to take my input, which was stone, and then I want to multiply it by negative one. It will simply turn around the sign in front of the number. So positive 390 becomes negative 390. But I then need to say, well, what do I want my output to be? That is also stone. So now it's inputting what stone I have in my chest multiplying it by minus one, so my output is minus 390. When I then hook these two combinators up to the same pole, they will be added together. So I don't need an arithmetic combinator to combine the two numbers. So if I hook up the constant combinator, I'm outputting 10,000 stone, positive stone, and then I take the output of the arithmetic combinator and put that in the pole. So now it's 10,000 minus whatever I have in my chest, 
meaning I need to add 9600 stone in order to get to my limit or my desired output of 10,000 stone. But I need to convert this into a signal for my train stop. I then want to do some more math, which is to take another arithmetic combinator and this time say, I want to take the input, I'm just putting it on the pole to make it more visible. I'm then taking the input, which is positive 9600 stone, and I want to take this input of stone, and I want to divide it by 4000, because that is the amount of stone in a train. And this isn't actually normal division, it becomes integer division, because I want my output not to be stone, I want it to be L for limit. So now it's saying 9600 stone divided by 4000, that becomes 2.9, I think. 2.9 which then is rounded down to 2 so integer division this is the amount of trains i can add in order to get to 10,000, which isn't exactly true because this wouldn't get me past the limit so two trains would deliver 8,000 stone 8,000 plus 390 is 8.4,000, and that means i am below my output signal of 10,000, and i can then hook up the output into my train stop it's outputting l2 which i can then say on my train the train limit is already L, so I want to set the train limit to be equal to my input signal of L, which right now is 2. And like I said, I won't actually get to my requested amount of 10,000, but I can fix that afterwards. If I simply turn on my trains now, both of them, because I have a limit of 2, and you can see that here also train limit 2 out of 2, and then 2 out of 1 because it's deposit enough stone. To be below 8000, I add the second train. Now I'm below an input signal of 4000. So 1.6 thousand divided by 4000 gets rounded down to zero, which means I have a train limit of zero. But now I'm not actually at my desired input, which is 10,000. I'm at an input of 8.3 thousand. So I don't have the 10,000 stone I want to have, which sucks because I want to have 10,000. That's why I set my output signal is 10,000. So the amount of stone I need to add to get to 10,000 is then 1.6,000, which means I want to add an extra train to get above my minimum threshold. And what I can simply do is I could either take the input and then add one, which means I'd need another arithmetic combinator to take the input of L and then add one. And then I can just call it M because this is then the new output that would then be one so i need to add one extra train to get above my threshold but i don't want to have more arithmetic combinators future me here what i said isn't entirely true i'd need even more logic to ensure i don't have a train slowly unloading at my station i only want my train to leave the stone mine whenever it can deposit its entire load i can't simply add one to my signal because my station would then always be open and allow at least one train to be there i'd need to output minus one from my division in order to add one and then get to zero so that my train stop is locked and that simply isn't how my setup works. The next solution will work with the setup I've created. Instead simply increase my constant combinator to be 4000 above my output signal. So since I want 10,000 I'll set the output signal to 14,000 and now a train is coming. So more stone is added and I'm now above 10,000 stone, which is what I wanted. So I have 12,000 as an input, minus 14,000, 1 1.6 again. And now 1.6 divided by 4,000 gets rounded down to zero, so I can't have any trains. So now I'm above 10,000, which is what I actually wanted. And then when I get below 10,000 again, then it would call for another train. And it is always the closest one since both trains were ready, which I think is neat. Now my input signal divided by 4000 gets rounded down to zero so it's turned off again. So for my uses I would simply say that the constant combinator should be equal to the minimum amount of items you want plus an extra train load. So in Crestory 2 it would need to be 18,000 in order to have at least 10,000 in my chests. So yep. 